everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video thank god praise jesus there's no more exams to be mentioned between now and october at least until october fingers crossed i have passed them and i will never have to do them again but the fam are up from home today they come up to visit me to kind of say well done and we're gonna go and get some food just to get like some nice comfort food some chips and a big old burger but what i'm most excited for today is to take you along with me to visit our very first low waste no waste grocery store which is open in Fibsborough in dublin it's called noms i haven't been before to be honest with you i'm so beyond fed up of the plastic in Aldi and everywhere else. It's just, it's, it makes no sense to me. I could rant about it for days. I won't. I could though. So what I'm most excited about, I think actually, is to see if I can get some loose mushrooms. I know that sounds really, really weird, but I literally eat them every single day and they're really hard to get loose. I don't think I've actually ever seen them loose. I feel so buzzed that now the exams are done, I can really jump into starting our environmentally friendly, low waste, no waste journey and see where it takes us. I'm really, really hungry now, and I think everybody else is, so uh, let's go! Family's just parking up, and I have my recycling bag full of all my containers ready to fill up with goodies. I'm absolutely buzzing. <laughs> because it's 100% compostable. So yeah. even the film on the inside, it's great. There's always something I find on packaging that isn't recycled. You know, yeah. and that's supposed yeah. to be well. like, I just want to yeah, be kind. <laughs> we have our big bag full of goodies. Myself and Matt were like children in a candy shop. It was absolutely incredible and it's so encouraging to see these kind of shops popping up around the country. I mean, oh gosh, we heard that there is a, a no waste festival. We heard that there's a no waste festival going on. We heard that there are bags that look like plastic being made from cornstarch. We learned so much even from just spending a couple of minutes in there. So I'm really looking forward to getting home and doing a little mini haul and showing you what we got. I'm so excited. Don't know if you could tell. Okay, everybody we're home and I'm gonna do a little small mini haul and just show you what I got. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I got some stuff to kind of kickstart this zero waste, no waste journey, as I was saying in the car. So let's dig in and see what we have in this bag. What I'll do is I'll leave all the prices to what I bought and a list in the description box just so you can kind of gauge it for yourself and see if this is something that you might be interested in doing and going in and visiting noms and talking to Naomi and Mary. We had such a good chat and it's actually so refreshing and encouraging to talk to people who care about the same things that you do. Naomi was saying that her lettuces are starting to grow and I said, oh, our radishes are going to seed at home in the garden and it's just, it's great to connect with people and meet people who are on, on your wavelength, I suppose. But anyway, let's see what we bought. Okay, so everything you see here in front of me is what I got today. I had to stop myself from buying stuff. Mam was a bit like, okay, come on, we need to exit the shop where you're gonna buy the whole place. So I'll go through each thing one by one and just show you really quickly. Okay, so in our house, we have a no shampoo bottle policy. From the last bottle of shampoo that was used, there is no more. We got a shampoo bar. Now I know Lush sells these and I've used them in the past, but I haven't loved them. They haven't been my favorite thing in the world, but that was a couple of years ago. And I'm hoping that they've improved since then. So this is called Time Travel. It's a shampoo bar and it's palm oil free, which makes my heart sing, because you know we are anti-palm oil. So basically what you do is you use it as you would use your normal shampoo. In the shop, Mary was saying that she actually uses it as a full body wash because it lathers up really nicely. So I'm super excited about that. Once it's gone down the drain, it's gone. There's no recycling, there's no plastic. Happy days and it smells amazing. The next thing we got is a paleo bread mix. 
This is from Cave Mangrove. Now, if you've been following me on YouTube for a while, you, or Instagram even, you'll know that I made paleo bread not too long ago, and we absolutely loved it. We made quite a small loaf, and it really wasn't enough to sustain any of us. Literally, the whole thing was gone within a couple of hours. So I'm excited to do this just as a kind of a quicker method of getting the bread made, rather than buying all the ingredients myself, which obviously I would do ideally, but when you haven't got time, always a handy option so I'm excited to see what this comes out like it's obviously a low carb paleo option so all this requires is that you add eggs and water and bam you've got yourself some paleo bread cue happy dance the next thing we got are some packets of seeds so if again you've been following my channel for a while you know that last year we started our own vegetable pallet garden so we got an old pallet and we transferred it into a little vegetable garden and we got tons of lovely salad leaves loads of spinach and radishes from it last year so it's time to crack out the pallet again get it cultivated get it growing so we got tomatoes salad mix and a lettuce mix and i think i have some seeds from spinach last year and our radishes are also about to go to seed so that would be absolutely fantastic way to also further reduce the amount of plastic we're using because the amount of spinach and salad bags that we go through is crazy and obviously those bags are not recyclable in any way shape or form hashtag come on Aldi I mean so salty it's ridiculous the next thing that we got which makes me really really excited is this scrub pad it's biodegradable and compostable and it is for scrubbing your dishes so obviously when you buy sponges they're not recyclable they're not biodegradable and they're going to end up in ocean in landfill so let's turn to our biodegradable options so this says it's made from organic coconut fibers oh god it's more coconut i bloody love coconut love coconut i've actually switched from soy milk to coconut milk recently and it's it's just a game changer stays fresh and effective for months uses less soap but produces more suds all surface friendly no bacteria no germs non-toxic safe for your hands rinses with clean water non-absorbent i can't i can't even i just can't I have gotten myself a bamboo toothbrush. This is from Humble Brush and it's a Swedish company. On the back they say, do you know that 3.6 billion plastic toothbrushes are produced every year? That's insane. Most of these will end up in oceans and landfills. And yeah, I can't even smile about that because it is the truth. We need to be moving towards these little guys. It's a small thing that we can do. We all use toothbrushes. So let's go for the bamboo kind. I haven't even seen a bamboo toothbrush before. And what has stopped me from buying these in the past was that they come from Amazon. And a lot of the time when Amazon ships, they add a whole ton of extra packaging that isn't really needed. It's not needed at all, in fact. So I've kind of been putting off buying them. I don't know if it's better or for worse, but anyhow, I found them in store into my hand directly no plastic waste the box is totally 100% biodegradable so it says this handle is made of 100% biodegradable bamboo and can be disposed in your composting bin it will return to the soil after a couple of months not after a couple of hundred years sitting in a landfill and the three fresh products I got if you can count chocolate as fresh I will because it's fresh food to me yeah chocolate is a bean so I got this uh, Vivani chocolate. Usually when you buy your chocolate, it comes in, as you know, a cardboard box. Um, but the film that's inside that, the little kind of foil wrapper that's inside, is not biodegradable. However, on this baby from this brand, it is recyclable. Next thing I got is a lunchbox full of kale. So you know that I love my giant salads and they've been a staple in my diet for the last couple of months. Just look how gorgeous and fresh that is. Absolutely delicious. I eat this raw or I eat it cooked, it doesn't matter. And so I got 100 grams, popped it into my own container and took it home. No bags necessary. And the last thing we got is mushrooms. You know that I've been obsessed with mushrooms lately, absolutely loving them, having them with most meals or at least once a day, if not more than once a day. And I was super surprised to learn that this film is actually made from cornstarch. So the bags that you will get in NUMS are made from cornstarch. They look like a typical plastic bag, but they're absolutely not a plastic bag. And really what Naomi was trying to get across was that it's so important that people know that these things exist. So if you go into Butler's Chocolates and you get a small plastic bag of cellophane, why is that not cornstarch? All we need to do is start putting on a little bit of pressure and we can make all the difference. And obviously NOMS is a small business. They've been there for five months, the ladies were saying. So this is all so new and so fresh. And if they're making the effort to educate us, then we should be making the effort to learn, to want to learn, and also to spread the knowledge that we do have. If you have any low waste, zero waste, no waste grocery hacks or life hacks that you use in your own life, please don't forget to let me know in the comments. I'm always open to learning more about what everybody else is doing so that we can implement them in our own lives. I'm gonna pop over to my Instagram stories now and show everybody over there. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, please make sure that you do. I will leave a link to that 
of my head or my description as I always do. I really hope you enjoyed this low waste, zero waste little mini grocery haul that we did today. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. And of course, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!